With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. In the given circuit, a wire joining B and D is shown in the figure you can see. You have to find out the current in this wire. So, you can see here there are four resistance. Let's say this is R1 and this is R2 and this is R3 and this is R4. Right. So, R1 and R4 are connected in parallel and R2 and R3 are connected in parallel. Right. So, if you see here the potential drop across this resistance is given here 20 volts. So, if I drop R1 and this is R4 and this is the line joining B and D right and here this is R2 and this is R3 so potential drop across this is 20 volt right so R1 and R4 are connected in parallel and R2 and R3 are connected in parallel so let's calculate the R equivalent so R equivalent of the system will be R1 R4 by R1 plus R4. Since R1 and R4 are connected in parallel, so we'll apply the parallel formula this. And now the R2 and R3 are again in parallel, so I will write R2 R3 by R2 plus R3. Right. So if you see here, the R1 and R4 are 1 and 4. Right. So, just put the value of R1 and R4. 1 into 4 is 4 and 1 plus 4 is 5. Now, R2 and R3, if you see here, R2 is 2 and R3 is 3. Right? So, 2 into 3 is 6 and 2 plus 3 is 5. So, from here, we will get the R equivalent as 10 by 5 which is 2 ohm. So, we got the net resistance of the circuit. So, we can get the current through the battery right so current through the battery you can calculate so i will write i equals to v by r equivalent that is 2 so 20 by 2 is equals to 10 ampere the current through the battery is 10 ampere and here you will you will be getting the current 10 ampere so let's suppose the current in this branch is i1 and current in this branch is i2 right so you can apply the junction law at point a Right. So, if you see here, here the 10 ampere current is flowing. So, in this branch, the current will be 10 minus I1. And by applying the uh, junction law here, Kirchhoff's junction law at C point, then you will get the current through this branch is equals to minus I2. Right. So, if I say the potential drop between AB, that can be calculated by I1, I1 and between point uh, BC the potential drop will be I2 into R2. So, let's see. So, I will write potential drop between point A and B. I will write I1, R1, which is also equals to the potential drop across the R resistance that is 10 minus I1 into R4. Right. Now, just put the value of R1 and R4. So, R1 is 1 and R4 is 4. So, I will write 40 minus this so from here you will get 5 i1 is equals to 40 so i1 is equals to 8 ampere right now if i talk about the potential drop between point uh, if you see here bc these two point right so i will write potential drop between bc is equals to i2 r2 that is also equals to 10 minus r2 into r3 this to be calculated and R2 is 2 and R3 is 3. Right. So, if you will solve this 2 I2 is equals to 3 minus 3 I2. So, we will get 5 I2 is equals to 30. So, from here you will get I2 is, is equals to 6 ampere. Right. So, we got I1 and we got I2. And now if you see in the diagram we know these two current I, I1 and I2 and we want the current through this right. So, if you see point B right this is the point B from here current I1 is coming 
and from here current I2. So along BD direction from B to D point, the current will be I1 minus I2, right? So let's see what is I1 minus I2. We already calculated I1 and I2. I1 is 8 ampere and I2 is 6 ampere. So I1 minus I2 here is 2 ampere. So the current through this BD line will be 2 ampere and this will be our answer. Simple. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.